Hey guys, let's talk for a minute about roly polies in our garden. Here are a few roly polies in the bottom of a cup I just caught, and now we're in my what I call my weedless garden, even though there are a few weeds. But we put cardboard down around our planting pot uh, parcels here to control the weeds. But if we look underneath the cardboard, we get roly polies. Here's one. Okay, so here's what's going on with roly polies. Roly polies, also known as pill bugs, are not insects. They're crustaceans. And a lot of people freak out about them because they look kind of creepy. They're like similar to armadillos. If they get scared, they roll up into a ball. And a lot of people say, how do I get them out of my garden? Should I get them out of my garden? Our answer, through our experience and our practices, is no. Do not worry about getting the roly polies out of your garden because they're decomposers. Okay? People say, well, but they're on my, they're eating my, my young shoots and my plant roots. Okay, the roly poly, as you see, is sitting here eating our cardboard. And here are some, uh, these are cucumbers. We planted about three weeks ago. They're doing really well, and we have no root damage, even though we have roly polies right here. So, let me tell you why the roly polies aren't eating our vegetables. As decomposers, roly polies' main diet consists of decomposing matter, decomposing organic matter, uh, vegetation primarily, not so much meat, though some have been known to eat decaying animals and even feces. But these guys love predominantly decaying leaves. And we recently made a video about leaf mold, which is something we use to enrich the soil in our garden. We'll link it to the end of this video so you know what we're talking about. It's also referred to as black gold. And I don't know if this will show up on the camera or not, but I have just a little bucket full of black gold here. I brought down from our gold mine. There's one. But this stuff, and we keep this way up there underneath a big old giant oak tree right there in the center of your screen. It drops the leaves in the fall. We actually rake them into a somewhat organized slash chaotic pile up there and let them decompose and then we enrich our garden soils with it. When we get our black gold, there's always a ton of roly polies in it because they help the earthworms break down these leaves, okay? Earthworms are your best fertilizers and decomposers in your garden. Roly polies are close number two, okay? And there's even conversation out there that roly polies remove heavy metals from the soils. Um, I've been looking and looking and looking for scientific evidence on that, and so far I've found none, but that conversation is taking place. So we'll see, okay. Uh, he's over there, he wants out. It's his time to free range. When he sees me, he knows he gets out. But anyway, let's say you don't have all this space, and roly-polies are eating the roots of your young plants. What can you do about it? Okay, there's a couple things you can do about it. And I've set up some examples for you here. Um, as you can see, and we've got eggplant here, you can protect your your roots from early polies. <clears throat> and now, uh, Ruth's okay, we're awake, shut up. <clears throat> The roly polies, they don't tunnel, but they can burrow, basically at ground level, because they like to burrow up underneath things, like our cardboard here in our weedless garden. It's not so weedless. But uh, so when you, you cut out the bottom of a paper cup, turn it upside down, plastic cup, paper cup, doesn't matter, put it over your plant, like I did here over my young uh, okra. These are okra. These aren't eggplant. So I've got my okra protected by the plastic cup, and I've actually buried the bottom so the roly bolt roly polies cannot tunnel under. So that will protect your roots. Okay, number two. Let's say you keep a compost pile, and we actually have like working compost piles in our different gardening areas. Um, you might have yours further away from your actual, actual vegetables, but let's say you have a composting pile. You can bait your roly polies. Just use organic matter, such as a banana peel, which I've used here. Lay it out in the evenings. When you come out here in the mornings, the next morning, there'll be roly-polies all over the place eating this thing. Just pick them up. I mean, they don't bite. They're harmless. Pick them up and then transfer them, relocate them to your, 
to your uh, compost pile, okay? And then here's simply another, we're protecting the roots here, uh, though it's not necessary here, but this is what you can do in your garden if roly polies are an issue with merely a plastic water bottle. Cut the top off, cut the bottom off. If you've been watching our videos, you've heard me say numerous times, reusing is a form of recycling, and we do a lot of reusing here. So if we if we have a bottle left over from some bottled water, if we happen to be out and about and need to buy some water, because we don't drink soda, and uh, we have well water here on the homestead, but we keep our bottles and we use them for our gardening projects, and that's one example of how we do it. So, I mean, look at this. You saw the roly polies under our cardboard, and there was no root damage on our... So, guys, they're not a nuisance. They are a decomposer. They're like tiny little miniature gardeners in your garden that are helping you enrich your soil by decomposing organic matter so that next year your soil will be even richer than it was this year. And that's what's going to happen here with our black gold. And we will have the earthworms to thank. We have the big giant oak tree to thank for giving us these leaves. And we have the roly-poly pill blood pill bugs to thank. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, Homesteading Off the Grid.